What if something beautiful could be created from horror? If new life could be born from death? Those are the questions one family has been thinking about as they face marking four years on from the Grenfell fire. And it's led them to an idea for the future of the tower. You know, at the moment, it's, it's a graveyard. It's a, you know, uh, a floating graveyard. And I'd like to turn it into a, a floating garden. They want the tower structure to be turned into a vertical forest as a permanent memorial, with 72 species of flowers planted to remember the 72 victims. There's ashes inside, and there were lives inside before. So if you see the green start growing, um, you know, the birds going, um, you know, nature, it's like it's... Um, it's like um, life um, still in there. So. Yeah, it's like a, out of the darkness, you know, you, you're getting some light. You know, you're giving something back from this horrific moment in our lives that we're going to be living for the rest of our lives with it, you know, and it's about that emotional connection to the tower. Marcio and Andrea lived on the 21st floor of the tower. In horrific circumstances, they managed to make it out with their two daughters that night. Wet clothes or wet? <coughs> Put it against your mouth. Put some over yeah, your yeah. mouth. Wet. Yeah, we've got it. Everybody got it? But Andrea was seven months pregnant, and their unborn baby son, Logan, died. He was the youngest victim of Grenfell. We felt like our hearts had broken. Wishing, praying. For any kind of miracle, that he would just open his eyes. The Ministry of Housing has written to the Grenfell community saying after important advice from structural engineers, we need to consider if and when the tower should be taken down to maintain safety. It's almost a little bit of a slap in the face. Mm. If you knock the tower down and just make a little park there, a memorial park, it's going to get forgotten. 50 years, 25 years, I mean, I don't know what the number may be, Somebody's going to turn around and say, this is uh, prime land here, and, and they really want to build on it. I am worried that that could happen, yes. And maybe it's, it's the easier option, mm. you know, and not knocking it down is the easier option. You know, we're all creative minds. We all can think outside the box here. Marcio wants independent structural engineers to look into their idea. Wouldn't it be wonderful to wake up and look at, at a tower, which, which is horrific as we know it now, under that wrapping, but then seeing a beautiful thing being created? seeing this beautiful thing come to life in spring, over summer, you know, and seeing it live. The couple were inspired by a similar project in Italy. That was a residential building, however. This would be a national memorial that could simultaneously help fight pollution. Their idea is starting to gain traction, among others who are also bereaved, and some in the community around Grenfell. Michelle Active lives right underneath the tower and cannot escape remembering the horrors of that night. After the fire happened, my first thought was, well, they've got to take it down. Then I saw pictures of the possibility of vertical gardens on towers and something like that had never entered my head before. It would be weird if it had gone completely and there was a gap. It will give you better memories for the future you know, when you see the flowers bloom, when you see them grow, and just, just the greenery of it, um, I think will just be really impressive. A spokesperson for the Ministry of Housing told us, we know how important and sensitive this decision is, and no final decision has been taken, adding they are engaging closely with the community following independent safety advice.